If you like the content of this channel, and I know you will, make sure that you donate and pop that, tap that, tap that, tap it, tap it. I have a saying, don't hate the player, don't hate the game, learn the fucking rules so you can win. Sometimes that gets misconstrued. As I said in the hustler sales call, that I don't think you should break the law. However, I think you should know where that line is and get as close to it as possible. So with that, let's have a uh, better understanding of what I mean when I say, don't hate the player, don't hate the game, learn the fucking rules so you can win. Let's take what prompted this discussion. I posted something about Uber, which is a very disruptive company, and it's disrupting car service and taxi cabs all across the world. And many of the old school economy taxis with the taxi medallion, the outrageous fees and cost of creating a taxi service, like a medallion may be $250,000 in permitting. Where does this money go? It goes to support a fat infrastructure that does nothing. Uber has proven, and I want you to hear me out. They can hire someone, do a background check, have their car go to a place and have it checked out for far less than $250,000. Well, see, when I say about the rules, okay, when I, a lot of times when I'm talking about rules, I'm talking about social rules, social constructs, social sanctions. Uh, like, take this thing with Ray Rice. There's a social sanction that a woman can do anything she wants, yell, scream, just about, you know, put a brick to your head. And if somehow you touch her back, you're wrong, even though her actions aren't taken into account. That it was I should say that was a rule because more and more women are going to jail for domestic violence and abuse because they do that, too. But for a long time, there was nothing happening to them because that was one of the rules. Now, the rules changed also with what I call government over regulation. I will tell you straight up, don't incorporate your business until you know what you're going to do. Go out, prove your concept, see if it makes money, talk to people, do a mock-up of your, com your company. Now, there are many business consultants that's like, no, that's wrong. Get your business license. You want to be all up above board. You want to be fired. You want to be doing the right thing. Yes, you should do. You don't want to run afoul of the law. What fucking law? I have looked. There's like, I have not seen any laws, I mean, it might be in your jurisdiction, where you have to have a business license or you go into jail. I haven't seen that. It is assumed and presumed that you must have this stuff, and it's part of the culture indoctrination, just like you must have a degree. It's the same mindset, because you have people out there who could be really successful, really doing wonderful things, but they're afraid to go for it because they don't have the money to do this stuff that really doesn't help their business it doesn't and you know you can say what you want about uber and these other disruptive companies because you know someone was telling me about my business model and i just laughed because they said the same thing about airbnb and they said the same thing about uber they said the same thing about youtube they said the same thing about ebay they said the same thing about amazon so there's all these people it's just not gonna work it's just what you're really saying is you can't make it work because you don't have what it takes. And that's cool, but don't put your mediocrity on my dreams. I'm going to brush them off and let my shit rise. So understand, when I say don't hate the player, don't hate the game, learn the fucking rules so you can win, you must understand at times you're the player, at times you're the game, and sometimes you're the rule. Did you get that? So this is more of that upper level game that I'm talking about that where you have to recognize what are the rules. A lot of rules we have in our society are not on the law books. And if you break them and you run afoul of them, it will cause you serious trouble. A lot, a lot of problems in your life. So you got to know what these rules are. It's like, uh, as Mark Cuban said, you know, when you go in the room, first thing you do is you look for the sucker, and if you can't find the sucker, it's you. That's a rule. That's part of that game. You should know that because if you go in the room and you're looking for the smartest person and it's you, you're also in trouble. You need to 
push yourself and put yourself out there. So understand, don't get this thing misconstrued or twisted that when I'm talking about toe the line, I'm all about disrupting the line. I'm all, I'm all about pushing things and expanding envelopes and making your business better and doing these wonderful things. So understand, I'm not talking about the law, but I am saying, don't break the law. I don't want you like, well, Glenda told me, you know, fuck the law. And I'm going, no, 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 no. You must know what the law is before you can circumvent it. Did you, did you get that? Which means you got to know the rules. You got to know the game. Uh, when you go in the corporation, and this says it's a Calvinistic corporation where everyone wears a blue suit on Tuesday. It's not in the employee handbook, but that's a rule. And if you break it, it's going to be a problem. You got to pay attention. You got to be socially aware of these rules because they play a huge part of your life and your wallet. So with that, this is Glendon and I'll see you on the good side. If you like the content of this channel, and I know you will, make sure that you donate and pop that, tap that, tap that, tap it, tap it. All right, I'll see you on the good side.